This is Neil Schneider for MTBS TV at CES 2012. I'm again joined by Frank Lee from LG Electronics. Thank, welcome back to the program, Frank. Oh, thank you. Always my pleasure. Now, uh, we're actually more in the PC side of things, and you've got a number of displays, uh, notebooks, displays. I understand you got some glasses-free technology working as well. What do we have here? Well, really excited because, you know, LG plays in so many spaces and we're able to bring the advantage of Cinema 3D from our TV division and bring that over when it comes to our PC solutions. And this situation this is our flagship model here. Not only is it a 3D LCD monitor uh, taking advantage of our IPS technology, but it also has a built-in TV tuner. So it really is an all-in-one uh, serving many needs. How big is this screen? Uh, you're looking at... Uh, 27. 27 inches. <laughs> That's actually very big because you know with with 3D they say bigger is better is better, and if you're talking about a desktop display. Right. Right. So, I mean, right now, the, we've seen that progression, right? There was times where a 15-inch, a 17-inch, and then gamers really sort of led the way. You know, they started bringing in televisions and they started using those. And so it really led to us, hey, there's an indication here that we need to get into the 22, the 25, oh, the 27. That seems to be a sweet spot right now. Who knows, maybe we'll break into the 30s, but right now, that 25 to 27 has been a nice sweet spot for, for this uh, solution. This looks like a very uh, slick device. What, what, what would it go for? Uh, right now, the price has not been shared with us at this time. But uh, again, it's very competitive when you look at the fact that with our manufacturing capabilities and just our worldwide uh, set, set of demands, uh, the price would be reasonably set. What kind of connectivity does it have? Uh, well, obviously HDMI, uh, your PC inputs and all that, uh, various USB ports as well. It acts as a hub. So the convenience of it all, just generating through this one hub. So again, all the standard inputs is again, uh, more importantly, the HDMI. Excellent. Now, this is just a, a display, but I understand that LG has an interest in the PC market as well. Yes, yes, we do. I mean, many people don't know that we've been actually manufacturing P, like note, desktops and notebooks uh, for a, quite some time. It just hasn't been uh, very public. Um, from so desktop solution, we have an all-in-one. Extre gorgeous. I mean, we're talking minimal, slim. Uh, you know, again, a 3D display uh, driven off of an ATI graphics card. Uh, also, we do have notebooks, ultrabooks. You know, 1.2 kilograms, uh, a, a screen of 13 inches, but on a body of a 12 inch. Now, uh, th I've seen this trend recently where a number of companies have come out with these all-in-one PCs. Can you explain what the advantages are for an all-in-one? Yeah, right now, it seems a whole minimalistic, you know, really saving up uh, space on the, on the desktops. You look at some places like any DIY website or Lifehacker, they're always promo promoting how people are customizing or personalizing their workspaces. And one thing that's completely uh, uh, common across every single concept design is a very clean and minimal space. And creating that kind of workspace makes sense that all-in-ones are going to have a place as a, an established genre when it comes to desktop computing. Now, in the case of the all-in-one that LG is showing here at CES, uh, is it a good fit for gamers? Absolutely. Again, a good widescreen, taking advantage of 3D, and, and a, what's really ex exceptional about it is it got an aggressive uh, graphics card, which you need to be able to enjoy your gaming situations. Uh, now, uh, what hasn't been shared with me is the level of customization. So that's something to, be, to look at once it comes out to review what level of customization and upgradability you have, because all the ones you do have a little more limitations in that space. Does it come with any type of gaming software? Uh, none to, none ha that's been shared with me at this time. So when, once we get the final specs, it's something to review for everyone. Do you know if it will include the Tri-Def Ignition drivers? Like um, I believe so. That, that's something that's been shared with us. That, that At least that would be there because it is speaking to both people in the creative space and also the gaming space. Okay, excellent. Now, one more bit of technology. For the past, you know, ever since 3D became popular, there's been a lot of demand and a lot of interest in glasses-free technologies. Right, right. Uh, is, is LG active in this space as well? Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, if you just think about CS itself, we were showcasing our glass-free 3D D technology for the past seven years, off tucked away in one little corner and got no attention at all. Uh, in the TV space, we brought in the sweet spot, and now we brought that technology over to notebooks and also to, to monitors. Uh, glasses free. What I'm really excited about is the fact that in uh, one particular model for the monitor, it actually has a small little 
single camera that does head tracking to ensure as you shift before the monitor, you're always in that sweet spot for the best 3D immersive experience. What kind of resolution can you get out of a glasses-free display these days? Uh, you're getting full HD 1080p uh, presented. Uh, no different, again, from what we're seeing with our TV uh, displays. Do you know if there's going to be a big premium attached to these glasses-free displays compared to traditional panels? Um, you're going to see a premium, uh, only because LG doesn't really compete in sort of that mid or lower tier when it comes to desktops or notebooks or even monitors. So we, we do uh, uh, play in that space of the upper end. So that premium is just because of quality. Uh, we are one of the first companies, if you're conscious about the environment, we, we adapted the RO, ROHS standards from Europe. We, we manufacture for 55 regions around the world. So we looked at the European standards. So we use recyclable materials uh, and we do so in such a manner that it's desirable for people at the end of life. So that's why you're seeing, it's not just a technology, we're not taking advantage of the community by saying, oh, it's a new technology, you're gonna have to pay for it. It's also because we use actual metals uh, and we actually manufacture them in such a way that's easy to take apart to make sure at the end of life. So we're very conscious about that and we continue to strive in that space. You know, I'm thinking, and I, I, I hope I'm not catching you off guard with the question, earlier in a previous segment, we talked about having two gamers on a single screen. Right, and right. we were talking about it in relation to the 3D HDTVs. Will we be seeing um, that, that on the desktop solutions as well? Absolutely. Uh, I'm happy to share something with you guys. I, we all know the term Easter egg. Uh, last year, if you bought a Cinema 3D television, you would be able to take advantage of dual play. So my, my point there is any any tech, any display that has Cinema 3D from LG, you will be able to do play two simultaneous screens, but dedicated for each player. Now, the only challenge, be mindful, I mean, this is, it's still a large screen, 27 inches, but maybe this is something that's great for a dormitory or small, small room, and if you just want to save space, two players can enjoy it. Um, but yes, the answer is yes, you can enjoy dual play on any Cinema 3D display. Excellent. So we'll be talking some more here at the, at the LG exhibit. This is Neil Schneider for MTBS-TV at CES 2012. Thanks for watching.